python global local and non local variables so that means the variable depending upon the scope we shall call it as a global variable local variable and non local variable so let us discuss them one by one so at first we are going for the global variables a variable which is declared outside of the function or in global scope is known as the global variable this means that the global variable can be accessed inside or outside of the function so that very variable can be accessed within the function or from outside of the function because it is under the global scope local variables a variable which is defined or declared inside the functions body that means within the function body where define one variable or in the local scope is called the local variable that means within the function body the variable has got defined or in the local scope then the variable will be known as the local variable so in case of global variable the variable will be will be defined or will be declared outside of the function in the global scope in case of local variables the variable will be defined or will be declared within the function or in the local scope what about in that case non local variables non local variables are used in nested function whose local scope is not defined so that means within the nested functions we are defining or we are using one variable which is not locally defined within the function itself this means that the variable can be uh, can be neither in the local nor in the global scope so those variables will be known as non local variables i think the conception conception is not getting clear to us so let us go for one practical demonstration for the better understanding in this example we have defined one x which has been defined outside of the function function 1 so it is a global variable x and which has which is containing the string global here so here within the function function 1 we have defined this global x that means we are referring to the same x variable here y is having the scope local and it has got initialized with the local string x is equal to x start to so x is having the string global start to means this global will be repeated twice the string will become global global and that will be assigned to the x back again we are going to print the value of x and y respectively so now we are calling this function 1 but before calling this function 1 and after calling this function 1 we have also printing the value of x here so here is the outcome you can easily find that initially that is that means before calling this function 1 the global x is having the value global within the function when it is printing x it is printing global global when it is printing y it is printing local and whenever you are printing this global x back again after execution of this function 1 we are getting this one as global global because this particular variable x is having the it has been defined with the global keyword that means it is referring to the same x that is a global variable defined outside of the function function 1 so let us go for another example that is a global and local variable with the same name here you can find that a is equal to 5 is a global variable defined before the function function 2 and here we are defining another variable a with the same name but here it is having a local scope so local variables are accessed from the block where it is defined only so here we have written this a is equal to 10 so print local a if i print this value of a i shall be getting 10 here so before calling this function to i'm just printing the value of a that is a global a i'm expecting here the value of a will get printed as 5 and after this function to calling if i print the value of a that is a global a i'm supposed to get the value five here back again but within this particular function to when i shall print this locally i am supposed to get the value as 10 so according to our expectation you are getting the outcome as well let us go for another one where we will be creating and using non local variables so where here we have defined one function within the function one variable is defined this variable is local within the function itself that means this variable is having the scope within the function itself so now here we are having a nested function so within the nested function the name of the function is inner we are supposed to define non local variables so here you can find that we have defined non local x that means we are referring the same x which is defined here because it is non local here so x has got updated and from the inner from the inner method we are printing the value of x so we are expecting that x will get printed as non local 
when executing this inner method so this code will get executed x will get updated with the new string that is the non local so after after executing this inner method if i print this x so you are expecting that we are supposed to get non local here and here we are executing the outer method after completion of the definition of the outer function here so inner non local so from here when we are printing the value of x so x has got just initialized with the string non local so inner colon non local is coming but as x is a non local variable so as a result of that this x will also get updated with the string non local so as a result of that this outer colon outer colon x will also print non local here but in the same code if i make this line only if i make this one line under comment then we are uh, having this one as x is equal to non local so a, as this particular variable has got n has got defined not without the non local keyword so as a result of that its scope will be local within the inner method only so that's why it will not update this global x it will just update the local x only within this inner method so what will happen inner will print non local from the inner but when you will be printing this outer colon x it will print the string local back again you can find that it is printing non local and local so in this video we have discussed the what is non local variable what is global variable how to define non local variable how to define global variable into details and with demonstration thanks for watching this video